So, we've got more symbolism of the Revelation 12 dragon coming after the woman. Now, this Rev 12 woman character, Sienna, in the soap opera Hollyoaks, see she's ready to give birth? <clears throat> see? No. It's just like um, the woman in Revelation 12 is ready to give birth to our immortal subs. Um, basically, Sienna is in a lot of pain because, like, she's getting labour pains and she's also getting pain from her cancer as well. And it all goes back to that. And she, being with child, cried, travelling in birth, and pains to be delivered. See, because Sienna's in a lot of pain. So, <clears throat> Warren Fox, just like Keith Lemon, the urban fox, he is the Rev 12 dragon. He is Satan. And he's coming after her. See this as well. Max Browning to murder an iconic EastEnders character this Christmas? Question mark. What's the betting that it's a woman that, that he murders? Like, again, symbolism of the Rev 12 dragon coming after the woman. <clears throat> now, it's just like in Star Wars The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren coming after Leia. Just like in Star Wars A New Hope, when Darth Vader came after Leia. See Blue Planet, the blue for Jesus. So, <clears throat> basically, Warren, he also comes after Kim, who is another Rev 12 woman character, because Kim is trying to save Sienna. So, I mean... Farrah, Kim's girlfriend, she's Rabisha Obama's head character. Now, this is a key thing, what I'm about to say. Warren has a son called Joel. Now, Joel is your Jesus Christ character. And Warren is your Satan character. So it's just like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, father and son. Darth is the Satan character, then Luke is the Jesus character. It's the exact same symbolism repeated. Like, so it, it's with all of these TV shows and films, the same thing over and over again. The hero's journey. Luke being the hero in Star Wars. Joel being the hero in Hollyoaks. In Strictly, the Obama type character Aston was booted out. But um, the Rev 12 woman character, Molly, she wasn't booted out. Um, see how she's wearing white for heaven? Um, that is because she's not ready to leave yet, because it's not the end times yet. So. <laughs> basically, even this as well, another Hollyoaks thing, Nita dies as Matt commits a shocking murder in Hollyoaks. You see how Nita is the Rev 12 woman, and then Mac is the Satan dragon character. The abuser. Just like Warren is the abuser. So, <laughs> even this set photo... Um, it appears to be, like, a spoiler of Justice League, but you can see, like, Henry Cavill as Superman, the Jesus character, in this black suit. Now, for those who don't know, black is the colour of darkness, and it represents, like, like the, um, the time of darkness coming across the earth, like, when the end times come, eventually. So, for some reason, they keep dressing... Um, these Jesus characters in black and that is actually a satanic thing that they're doing because they're trying to turn our heroes and our saviors into bad guys 
that is what the Illuminati and Freemasons are doing. Like they're they're they're, they're, they're not just doing it in Hollywood; they're doing it in in small scale things as well, like soap operas. So, like, first of all, Superman, Jesus character, Luke, Jesus character, Captain America, Jesus character. But you can all see how they're all wearing black in all of these pictures, can't you? See? <clears throat> you can even see how they've all got beards in all of these pictures as well. Probably because Jesus supposedly had a beard. Um, but anyway. So Superman's going from this suit, um, which has got to do with blending the iron with the clay, blending the red of Satan with the blue of Jesus, and he's going into this black suit. But I reckon he'll start off with this black suit in the film, and then he'll eventually like go back to his classic suit again. Or it might be like a, a sort of altered version of his classic suit. Anyway, that's kind of straying off the point, because <clears throat> they're even like coming out with this imagery of actual Jesus himself, like dressed in the black suit. So, yeah, I mean, like some people think that Jesus could have been black. It's entirely possible. In Avengers, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, they're the Rev 12 woman characters. Then, like, it, it really wouldn't surprise me if Captain America and Luke died, because, like, that would be showing, like, symbolism of the crucifixion. Like, <clears throat> Because we already had, like, Superman dying and Batman v Superman, and that was symbolism of the crucifixion. So, I mean, Superman's obviously going to come back in Justice League. Um, and apparently there's going to be Man of Steel 2 as well. So, I can't see him dying again, to be honest. So, we got even this Glenn character, who's also wearing black for the darkness. He could be another Satan character, because he makes out that he's, like, Sienna's protector, but is he really? Like, because after all, he's coming after, like, Grace and, and Darcy, who are Rev-12 woman characters. Because, <clears throat> like, um... Notice how Grace and Darcy both have blonde hair. Just like Alice in Wonderland. Because Alice in Wonderland's like another person who represents the Rev 12 woman. Um, but also, like, Grace, her last name is Black. Just like Glenn's wearing Black, see? Because, like, it's just like you have um, Grace uh, on X Factor as well. Like I mentioned that in my previous video. Like, even um, like Tony and Mandy's baby was called Grace and she died. And that represents Grace and Mercy being taken away. Like, Mercedes, I don't think um, she's in Holy Apes anymore, so that's Mercy taken away. Also, Mandy um, has come back in Holy Oaks, and she's another Rev 12 woman character. See, Falcon in Avengers, he's just like Aston in Strictly Comes Anson, the Obama character. Like, <laughs> see, Falcon's wings are just like the wings of the eagle in Revelation 12. 
So remember how I mentioned how Black Widow and Scarlet Witch are the Rev 12 women characters. See, so the wings of the Falcon, or the Eagle if you like, are granted to these women. That is why these characters help each other in the movies. Do you see what is above her head right here? The bird or the eagle. See the wings of that bird are granted to her. There's the F for the fifth age. See even the V or the Illuminati pyramid on that envelope picture. V is five, because it's got to do with Roman numerals. See, white for heaven, blue for Jesus, black for the darkness. And then there's the grey areas, just like Luke might be a grey Jedi. And then even, um, I mean, I could say that's red for Satan, but it looks more orange to me. I mean, it could be to do with the fiery pits of hell. Here's Kim from Hollyoaks. We are basically supposed to worship her feet because she's a goddess. That's why she's even wearing blue jeans. Blue for Jesus. That woman right there, she's even wearing a blue shirt for the same reason. There's even blue in the background, for the same reason. Even you could go even into the intricate details of this. <laughs> like the black chair that she sat on for the darkness. And then even, do you see that there? The red for Satan, the blue for Jesus. Blending the iron with the clay, the evil with the good. Thank you very much everybody. I've been Adam Burns, and I'll see you next time for more Illuminati Freemason Symbolism. Remember, Joel on Hollyoaks, he was a priest. So that's even more symbolism that he's the Jesus character. Sienna, she was reading the Bible. Now, more symbolism that she's the Rev 12 woman character. We must finish the race and keep the faith. I know it seems like an impossible mission, but it's not. It's our mission, and it's Jesus' mission. We must stand up against the bullies like Kylo Ren, Snow and Warren Fox.